Yo YouTube, how's it going? Back here with another video on the Kilter Board home wall. And today we're gonna to be doing every V0 on the app. And uh, in the description, I'll show you how we set the app up for this. And we're gonna be doing just the established. So there's 10 V0 established clients on the app. And I'll do a little video intro for each one and then share my thoughts on what I think about the climb. Here we have competition number one. So this is the most climbed, most repeated, established V0 on the app. And uh, I really like climbing this one. It's got some cool moves. Really nice little first left hand bump and then a double, double bump and kind of fall in with the left hand and then you finish on the uh, pink holds. And if you don't know, you start in the green as you see I'm doing and uh, yellow are for your feet and then the blue are your hands. And once you start, you usually can use your feet for anything. You know, put your feet on the start holds or put your feet on a blue hold. And then you just want to finish on the pink, either one hand on each or if there's just one hold matched on it. Here we have Keeping It Moving, another great V0. Um, second most climbed V0 out there. And I really like the way this one moves. It's not just like this ladder of holds. It's got some interesting uh, movement on it. This first move to this side pulls cool and then you got a little crossover move with the left hand and you go back out right and then the crux here boom left hand and you just got to finish it. Really great climbing. All right our next one is warm-up number one. So this is the third most climbed P0 out there. And it's using the center line of holds. These are probably the two best holds on the center line. So climbing these V0s, you really get a good sense of all the good holds on the board and you get kind of used to them. And uh, they are pretty ergonomic holds, so they don't feel like you can uh, you know, hurt yourself too bad on the jugs because it keeps your hand open while climbing. Are you not entertained? The fourth most climb V0. Now I think this one's a pretty good one. Uh, as you can see, it's using more holds and it's doing more of a traverse. I love climbs that traverse. It really just adds more to the interesting movements of the boulder. And uh, yeah, this one's probably one of the longest V0s out there. So really good one to kind of run some four by four laps on and get some good pump training in and really working on that core tension to help you stay close into the board. And then you just gotta match it right there and it's done. But yeah, really good one to run laps on. All right, number five, VV0. I like the name of this one. <laughs> um, pretty simple movement, kind of more of that ladder movement, you know, the left, right, left, right, finish. Uh, but still, you know, climbs well just because being on a steep board, uh, even if you are doing kind of ladder movements, is really good system like training. So, yeah, as you can see, I did a crossover like that finish. A lot of them finish like that. Meigs Mountain. This is another one similar to VV0 in the sense that it has more of that ladder like movement, but still a really good climb. With this little left hand first bump moves cool and double bumps so I, I like the way this one moves i think it'll go up in the ranks over time and it's one of the few that has a one hold finish for v0 warm up number two another pretty simple climb just using the jugs and ending on some of the better holds of the board and uh yeah really not too much to say about this one just a simple warm up with like we were talking about those ladder like moves but still good tension all righty getting close to the end here we're at number eight with daddy long legs two um since i'm pretty tall i thought this would be a pretty good one and uh, let's see how it climbs for me i really think this is probably one of the hardest v zeros out there and uh, you could see, I just start with the cross hands and 
come up to that hole. That hole's really not that good. <laughs> and this move right here is kind of crexy for a V0. So um, I'd like to see your opinion. Let me know if you think this is the hardest V0 on the board right now. So for number nine, we have D's problem here. And this one again is using the jugs as you can see. And this is one of the least climbed problems out there, but I do think it climbs really well. And I'm sure more people will get some repeats on this one. And uh, like that move right there. And it's got a pretty easy finish. So yeah, another great warm up. We have made it number 10, Plum Line. This is the least climbed, newest V0 out there. And it was set by Coach Cole from Giant Rock. Dude, climb my climb, it's the best line on the kilter board. Now, is the climb trash? Yes or no? Is the plumb line good? Does it climb well? Let's see. Not gonna lie, I was pretty nervous starting this one. Didn't know what holds to use, but decided to just grab the big ones, skip the little ones, and go straight to the top. Actually climbs really well, looks really cool. Nice set, Cole. Looking forward to some more.